and today I'll be reviewing the Shalon 41DS mask. So externally it's very simple. It's made out of rubber, it has your drinking tube port, and this is the part where you screw on your 40 millimeter filter. And underneath that there's this little compartment where you can uh, snap it open and it would use a, um, um, what, what do you call it, the exhale valve. There we go. So. If you look inside here, there's another mask which um, keeps this the lenses from clogging up. And the one of the best features about it is that it's a um, one size fits all mask. So you can put it on and tighten it, and you can tighten it to your liking. But uh, it does mean doesn't really um, fit all head shapes. So. Um, that's a problem, but you're probably not going to care in times of disaster and stuff. So, um, that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple mask, but there is some history behind it. So, Israel is surrounded by many hostile countries, Iran, Afghanistan, all that. They were afraid of chemical and terrorist attacks, so they decided to make masks. These masks are meant to be used in toxic areas and are really reliable for like preppers and stuff. However, a surplus mask wouldn't really make the list for prepping. Buy like a SGE or a Myra Safety or MSA or something like that. Um, so Israel bought the, the um, uh, bought the license to make these masks from Draeger, the German company that uh, which produced the masks that many of these were based on. Like this one, the 4A one, was based on the um, pretty rare German um, Simplex, Draeger Simplex, I believe. The M15 is, I think, based on the Draeger M65. So, with that out of the way, um, that's pretty much it, since there's really not any features on this mask uh, or this mask that is worth mentioning or out of the ordinary it's very simple um put on the drinking tube you screw this thing off and you screw this back in and yeah that's all there is to it very simple mask um pretty reliable i guess looks pretty cool and it's cheap okay it's 40 dollars from where i got it just don't use these um, surplus filters, don't risk it. They probably have like albestos in them. So yeah, these masks were produced in like 1980. That one's produced in 1984. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this mask. It's that simple. So yeah, I think we'll just end the review there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.